Hey guys, welcome back to Tech It. And today we're going to have a look at another EMC generator because I love these things, you know. <laughs> I just love doing different um, types of generators all the time. So this one we're going to use blaze rods and blaze powder. And the reason that works is, as you can see, blaze rods are worth 1500 EMC. Blaze powder is 768. Now when you macerate blaze rods, you actually get 5 blaze powder. So you'd get a total of 3500 something EMC out of it. So that's sort of the basic premises. Now, let's stop this damn rain. <coughs> You're going to need power for this. So, But I'm guessing, you know, once you get to the point where you have blaze rods, you're also going to have some power. Um, and I'm going to make a very simple version for you guys, but you can make it as complicated as you want, really. So cool, let's get started. So I'm just going to put my mess right here, so that it's powered by a bat box, and there's some low voltage solder arrays, and my mess right is finished. Now, what else can you, you're going to need? Now, obviously you need a mess right. I'm going to, again, assume that you know how to make that. Come on, you know, come on. <laughs> um, we need some redstone tubes, which I've showed you how to make in other tutorials. Some jacketed wire, which again, I've showed you how to make. And you don't really need this, but it just makes it a bit easier. Um, but if you don't know, it's some covers, doesn't matter what it is, uh, you can use any sort of material with some ingots. We need a timer, which I showed you before, and that's pretty much it. It's very simple. Ah, and two filters as well, which I showed you before as well. So cool, let's get started. So we don't need this master anymore, let's get two filters in, because we're going to need two. So one filter you put here, so that it takes out the blaze powder that we're going to make and we're going to hook that up. Now I'm going to hook it up in sort of a massive way but you can make this very very small but you know this is easy to, for you guys to see. Now all the blaze powder we're going to make in the macerator needs to come out into an energy collector. So we're just going to do it like this in there and this one will be making blaze rods. So all the blaze rods will macerate in here um, we'll put it out, so put a blaze powder in there into the filter so that the filter knows I have to take that out. You could use a transposer here as well. Um, doesn't make any difference. So once it makes the blaze powder in here, the filter or the transposer is going to push it out or pull it out and go through this tube into this condenser, make it into blaze rods. Now then we need the second filter just behind there, make sure it's pointing the right way. And we're going to put, if I have another one, no I don't, hmm, okay, let's get one, blaze rod. I'm going to put that in there so that the blaze powder isn't taken out of here. Now we're going to hook that up to the top of our macerator, like that. So now we have this perfect circle going on, and it's pretty good already, you know. This will work. Now eventually over a long period of time this will fill up and all the excess blaze powder we want to put in another condenser and we can make um, let's make diamonds there because you know why not let's get some diamonds I'll just get a load of them so we can put one in there and all that's left is to hook it all up so we get our timer put it there doesn't matter um, we just hook it up with some nice alloy wires, not just with redstone, this looks nicer. So that's already being powered, except for this is not powered yet, so we can just put a jacket of wire there. I'll power that as well. Um, although maybe it's nicer if we put, we just connect this. And there you have it. That should, should work. Uh, as soon as we put something in here to start the process off, so put some diamonds in there. Now, blaze rods are quite expensive, so it's going to take a long time before this starts working properly. And this is a very slow process. Now, what I would recommend is get some overclocker upgrades. Uh, again, you know how to make these. If you get blaze powder, you know how to make these. So get five of them. No, get six of them, sorry. And put six in there. And then put your timer at 0.6 seconds. Five, 0.65. Now, why you might ask? Well, because any time one of these blaze rods is made, it will also pull out enough. So as you can see, now it's being made and it's 19. 
made and I'll be 19 again now it's not because I don't have enough power but <laughs> normally it is so this is getting um, you'd need a bigger power source because of the overclockers now this works really well and eventually when this is full and we're just going to speed the process up here a bit uh, maybe with some diamond blocks instead As you can see, if you do this naturally, this is going to take a long time before this is full. But that's a lot faster. <laughs> but still not enough. It's insane. Come on, make me some blaze rods, will ya? So there we go, it's full now. Except for this. Let's make it day again. Now this poor thing is not getting enough power. Oh. Uh, so normally you'd use an MFE or something, and again, if you, if you have blaze rods, by that time you'd have an MFE as well. But this works, you know. It works just fine. So are you filled up yet? Almost. Come on. Come on. Yeah. And then it's all being taken into a diamond generator. And this is fast. This is literally very fast. It's probably faster than a darkroom generator. Um, and the great thing about it is you can make it very small. So you could make this probably... Let me think. You can make this probably... As small as... I'm just trying to recreate one as small as I can think. Uh, so we can put that there. Oh, we need a macerator again. Macerator. Uh, this has to go on the top. So we could do it with a cover, but... Uh, so that's another little technique that you probably know already, but if you don't... If you can put use covers to control where the piping goes. So that goes in there, uh, the blaze rods, now we need another filter to pull it out. Actually, you know, we can make it even smaller. We can make it even smaller, I think. There we go. So now this side is the outside. So we can put another filter here. And... Do we have another cover? No, we don't have another cover. pull that out that's it that is literally this machine but this small so that's pretty amazing and you could have uh, for example you know you could have one energy condenser here making diamonds for you or whatever you want to make so let's make it redstone and have the pipe going like that and you could have another one of these generators right here, another one right here. So you can make so many of them and it's so easy. And all it needs is some power. Now another good tip that I could give you is, uh, see now it's getting power because it's getting full. Uh, another good tip is using a rotary macerator. Um, it's a lot easier. Uh, they're a bit more expensive to make, but they work pretty damn well. And the speed is about the same as using a couple of overclockers. So, and the power usage as well. So. Uh, if we can put that there. Is that in the right position? Probably. So that will work pretty much the same way. And this is very compact, you know. There's nothing smaller than this, I think. It's literally six blocks. And you, like I said, you can just go absolutely bananas with this. And say, okay, cool, we have this. But, you know, we want to duplicate this. So you can make another one here and all you do is you just cover this up just like that and again let's let's make a couple shall we just do it fast like that um, you could put the tubing again here also cover it up there well, you don't need to but it's nicer I like to make it well where's that go where's my cover Come on. 
and again put the filters behind that you know and, and it just can keep going forever really and, and it's it's such a great tool oh like that and the macerator again here and we have to block that off again so that it doesn't go from the side and that one as well and yeah that's it pretty much you can even just connect these like that and you create this um, really compact system that makes loads of EMC like this will generally make so many diamonds per minute it's insane like this has been going for just a second it's been at 29 diamonds already uh, it just takes a long time to start up but once it's been started it, it's just insane <laughs> There's 30 diamonds, and very soon there's 31. So just imagine having, I don't know, five, six of these. Bloody amazing. <laughs> so there you have it. That's sort of uh, one of the best EMC generators I know of. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.